Have I got something to show you today? I got a few things to show you today. Welcome to Life with Bilsa. I'm your host, Bilsa. First thing I want to show you is I finally built a table for my black stone, which just folds up and locks into place. Now, if you ask me, that's pretty friggin' decent. These are good for 50 pounds. You can get them on Amazon and just mount them inside of your house and Bob's your uncle. Hey, okay? look at that. There's one thing I wanted to show you. I do a lot of work around here lately. That's why you haven't seen much of me. I got a new vegetable garden started out here. I got a new cat thing for the girls over here. Oh, yesterday, I forgot to tell you this too. Here's another one for you. Yesterday I was cutting along with the old John Deere Ruski and I went around here, do you? And I picked up a rock over there somewhere that blasted a hole in my siding. Look at it. I had to fill it with cock. She just friggin' blasted through there. Unreal. So I was inside today doing some cleanups and I happened to notice it almost come through the house. Check this out. It's hard to see, but look where it busted a hole right in here. I had to push this all back in. There's a big ball chair stuck out and almost friggin' just docked her. What? I was showing them my rock going through the house almost yesterday. It was friggin' crazy, wasn't it, hun? But I've also, you know, got the trailer out of the backyard. We've been fixing that. One of the, the slide was falling out of the trailer, so we also fixed that. So I finally got that mount. I just got to fix a wall and stuff like this. Been flying around the new little Mini 3 here Pro. That's a pretty good little toy. I sold one of my Maverick 2s I did. And I got the, the Mini. Because I like the Mini. But I've been working hard on my truck. As you can tell by looking at the truck, it's quite a bit lower now. I end up changing, I should have took you along with all this, but I'm telling you right now, boys, girls, peoples, I should have took you all along with this ride, but I'll tell you right now, boys, girls, peoples, I just haven't been into YouTube lately. So sorry I didn't take you along, but I'm gonna explain to you what I did here. As you know, last year we put in the three inch drop spindles. This year I put in three inch drop coils. So the coils have been replaced on the front end. So now we got three inch drop spindles, drop coils, it gives me six inch drop for the front. In the back, back's a little little different. We uh, we took it in to get the leaves re-arched and put new leaves in this truck because the truck sit a little crooked. But I got hosed over on there. I'm not gonna say any names, but I got charged $460 for something I could have done in an hour. So anyways, I finally got the leaves properly arched the way I want them. I put some helpers in to stiffen up the rear end. As you can see back here, there's a help here. Let me see if I can get you in there. As you can see back here, there's a helper, which helps, uh, you know, it uh, take care of itself. And I also notched the frame back in there. I'm waiting for shocks to come. I got a temporary extension on my shock because these shocks are too long. I'm waiting for some Belltech shocks to come. I did order Belltech shocks for all the way around. So the front's got Belltech shocks in it now too. So that's good. This truck's starting to ride pretty nice. I'm getting her no more bottoming out on stuff. So these these uh, these were just bolt-ins. And as you can see from the back of the truck, she's sitting pretty level now. Probably could go down further, but it's not too bad. See how it's sitting nice and level now? I don't know if you can tell in this video, but it's sitting nice and level now. Silverado's still running okay. Pond's up and running. I was doing that too. Like I said, the trailer's out. Mom likes the new Nissan Kicks. The tranny is a little wacky on that, like somebody has commented, but we'll see how long it goes. I got uh, this thing out. I can't remember what I called it. Leave a comment down below if you remember what I called that thing. What the hell did I call that? I can't remember, Jim. But anyways, I got that out. It's running. Truck's running good. Got it all running. Actually, really nicely. See? Run nice, no smoky smoke. Yep, she's running pretty good, Jim. I've had her out, driving her around. She's been good to me. That's another thing. I was getting pretty frustrated with the engine swap on this thing because everything sat around for a long time. So 
lifters weren't working the way we were supposed to work. They weren't pumping up and this and that. And just the tranny was kind of not shifting properly. But now that I've been driving a little bit, she's starting to work like she's supposed to. So that's pretty good, I think. Leave me any comments down below. Let me know if there's anything that you want to know about everything I just told you. Remember, when you're doing your lawn, watch out for stones. If that was over another two feet, it would have went through the fucking window. That wouldn't have been good. Huh? That would have been nasty. I have probably, for my drone addicted channel, probably 10 or, 10 or 11 flights of ships and stuff or miscellaneous stuff. I haven't even edited it. It's just all sitting down there ready to be edited. I haven't been on my Mac down there in probably a month. I've just been too busy around here. I just trying to get, you know, things up and going for the summer. Plus I turned 50 this year. Can you freaking believe it? I'm 50 now. So I had to start taking those 50 silver, silver 50 vitamins there for a day. 50 plus guys, you know? So I'm, I'm shoving them back the beak now too. Leave me any comments if you're shoving them back the beak. I got a new neighbor. What else? I planted some grass seed back there. I cut the lawn without the bagger on it. Things have been going on pretty good around here. This is just a short update. I wanted to come on here because I sat on the couch tonight and thought to myself, should I relax because it's raining out and shitty out tonight or should I actually do something? And I said, well, there's not really much to do tonight because there's not much to do. And you know what I thought? I said, I'm going to go on YouTube and say hi to everybody. So here I am. How you doing? And we'll see you next time.